Hello, my name is Dark Berries. I hijacked this channel to talk about Rube Global, 10 player and since Freya Mirage guy. After the Dorum update, a new instance, Freya Mirage can be unlocked if players finish all the story quest part 1 at the Dorum Kingdom. This instance has three stages, each stage will give you one divine armament accessory box. Meaning that a total of three accessories you can gain per week. Only gold and red quality accessory has two slot. Since free to play able to get it from easy and hard mode. So this is a good news. Other mats are for divine armament accessory enchantment upgrade, better keep and save those until you get gold or red quality accessory, very important. Unlike other divine armament, you cannot transfer stats between accessory. You can only upgrade Thier stats via enchanting. Mats from Freya Mirage instance. Friendly reminder, do not use your enchantment mats on one slot accessory. It will only waste mats because you cannot transfer to 2 slot later. Better save the mats and focus make your 2 slot accessory perfect. You can lock the enchant result, and save up to 10 results you wanna keep. By clicking the, lock, icon. You can lock the enchant stats. So the next enchantment will guarantee including these stats. Require lock items from the Freya Mirage instance. You also can use the special ability token to increase the chance or guarantee to get special ability when enchanting. Special ability will become like this if you got. It wasn't very powerful, but better than nothing. Also, Divine Armament Accessory has two types, Ring Type and Necklace Type. It is only important if you want to use set effect. Must Ring plus Necklace. But most of the player's now end game accessory is Chaos and Harmony Pendant. Which has no set effect, so you can use Double Ring or Double Necklace. No problem. Divine Armament Accessories allow you to change build freely anything you want. Which is very good for Doron, who uses magic for farmix, and physical for PvE and PvP content. Before start of the battle, you need to read the order of the party list. We'll make it, left 1 to 5 and right 1 to 5. DPS stands behind the Freya boss, there was a spot where most of the boss attack cannot reach. Warlock and Priest can stack, safety wall, to block all boss attacks. Free hit Freya until her HP drop to 80%. She will then enter phrase 2. When her HP drop to 80%, the two black and white cat will start throwing orb. Each party member takes turns to block the orb. Party member blue 1, go block the first orb on the left. Party member red 1, go block the first orb on the right. Then, party member blue 2, prepare to block the second orb on the left. And the party member red 2, prepare go block the second orb on the right. If someone missed to block the orb, or, the same person blocked the orb 2 times then AoE instant kill all party will occur. 
However, the AoE instant kill can be blocked with Red Sigil, Holy Light Descending, or Doram Anti-Fatal Skill. After all party members blocked all orb, move to the middle and prepare to stand in a circle to remove orb buff on your head. For the second round. All party members, stand to the circle according to the party order. Fail to do it. AoE wipe out again haha. Ha. After the circle is disappear and you still alive, me new past. Now go back to the block orb game again. And repeat. If someone missed, or Gullitone Cross accidentally used immortal buff, cannot block. Need to test your party member reflex to follow up haha. -ha. If your DPS high enough, you should be able to finish her, before she asks you guys for a second circle round again. Also, each stage has a time limit of 10 minutes, if you fail to finish within the time limit, try lower difficulty mode. Mean Nightmare needs overpower DPS haha. -ha. In stage 2, duo MVP, and black and yellow orb will be on the field. Black cat will chase the black orb holder, and yellow cat chase the yellow orb. Let the high combat power players hold the orb. The holder of the black orb will kite the black cat at the corner, don't let him get closer to the yellow cat. Priest and warlock use safety wall to protect yellow orb holder. Other DPS focus on killing Yellow Cat. Yellow Orb Holder also avoids getting too close to Black Cat. If they are too near, they will enter Berserk mode with high damage. When Yellow Cat HP reach 75%, 50% and 25%, the two MVPs will move to the map corner, and summon a bell in the center. All DPS focus destroy it as soon as possible. When the bell is summoned, two random players will assign black and yellow cat buff. They need to block the MVP cat dash to buy some time for ally to destroy the bell in the center. Fail to do it. AoE team wipe out again haha. -ha. Remember to turn damage display font to small, so you can see the buff icon clearly. The black cat is quite easy to kite, because all his skill is melee with cast time, just keep moving and he won't able to deal much damage to black orb holder. Also, the bell in easy mode can be break easily before cat dash. But for hard and nightmare mode, you need to block the cat dash to prevent AoE wipe out. After the yellow cat is down, Next is the black cat. When black cat is alone, he is just a sandbag, kill it and ready for stage 3.
stage 3, you need to fight the 2 MVP in a raw, yellow cat god mode first and black cat god mode last. Yellow cat god mode will random assign players with yellow and black circle. Players with yellow circle stay in mid, and black circle go after. Your main goal is, do not let yellow and black circle overlay on the field. Or else, the AOE team wipe out, again ha ha. When MVP HP is 70%, 40% and 10%. She will remove all circles on the field. Meaning if your DPS is too low, you will end up team wipe out. After yellow cat god mode is down, next is the black cat god mode. He got yellow color and black color attack. Avoid being hit by the same color in a row. It will cause an instant kill. Example, hit by yellow attack two time in a raw, you will death. You can see on your head, which color attack you received. If you have black icon, avoid black attack. If yellow icon, avoid yellow attack. Your color icon will change every time you get hit by a different color. So, avoid hit by the same color in a raw to avoid instant death. Stage 3 is all about reflex. Practice more and you will get it. You need to claim the reward manually, by going to the instance menu again. You can choose either one difficulty reward per week only. If you choose to claim the easy mode reward, you cannot claim the hard mode reward anymore this week, even after you clear it later. Always choose wisely which difficulty reward you want to claim. Also, Dev is giving 100k diamond to the players who can clear the nightmare difficulty. As long you record the video and the players who submit for the contest have no repeated records, aka no carry. If this guide helps you to get 100k diamond, don't forget to use, super thanks, me for a cup of coffee haha. <laughs>